Folks, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio, and hey, welcome to my video on the Cloudburst ambient reverb from my friends at Strymon. Strymon always makes great pedals, and this one is no exception. I love them. Um, I've got a Mobius and a Timeline on my board still. I've done videos for them going way back. And so I was really happy, actually, they hit me up to do a video for this one. There's a lot of videos on this pedal. And I thought, in my video, I'll do my thing, write a song, but I'll try and maybe showcase some of the sounds that I haven't heard a lot of people showcasing that this pedal can actually do, like some of the smaller reverb sounds. I know it's known for, you know, the crazy soundscapey long tail uh, ambient stuff, but it'll actually do really cool smaller and kind of prominent reverb sounds. And so I used sounds like that on the baritone guitar part on the song at the beginning of the video, as well as on uh, the guitar solo. I thought I'll I'll turn down the uh, the decay time quite a bit and maybe use a short pre-delay, but use quite a bit of reverb. <laughs> And go for a sound almost like I had an amp in a room with a pair of room mics spaced far back to pick up all the ambience in stereo. And I love those sounds. I, I mean, I, it sounds really cool. Like, I love the sound I was able to get on the baritone and on the solo and stuff. But then I couldn't resist sometimes grabbing that decay knob and cranking it all the way up to see what would happen. And it morphs the reverb and goes into this incredibly long tail. <laughs> And so that was really cool too, like going from a, a more subtle but prominent reverb uh, to a super ambient long tail. And you can actually do that using an expression pedal. This pedal has full expression capability. Um, any of these knobs can be controlled via expression pedal. So if you want to morph from a short reverb to a super long one with a crazy ambient tail, you can do that. There's other things you can do with the expression pedal as well. Um, like for example, there's a freeze mode and an infinite mode. Both those will allow you to like get super long reverb tails on whatever you're currently playing and then either play into the reverb or play on top of the reverb with no new notes added to the reverb. So there's lots of options there for the expression. And, and I also used it in stereo while I'm talking about the jacks here. Um, it's got full stereo capability. These are actually TRS jacks, so you can use it mono or stereo depending on the position of this switch right here. And there's also MIDI. So if you want to like store 300 presets and recall them, you can actually do that with this pedal. Some of the other controls on the pedal, what do we got here? The pre-delay, I already mentioned that. There's a tone control. That's super effective for getting super dark, warm, ambient textures. Or if you want to brighten up the sound and get much more like, almost like really overtone prominent keyboard-like sounds, you can crank up that, that tone control and the overtones become like really pushed forward in the sound when you do that. There's the mod knob. I used lots of mod on that baritone part. Um, it just sounded really cool to have like kind of like almost like a roomy chorus sound. The mix knob works like a lot of Strymon pedals that I've tried where you, you kind of bring it in and then all the way up to about three quarters of the way up, your dry signal stays super present. Uh, and then after three quarters of the way up, your dry signal quickly starts to drop off until you get full wet when the, the knob is cranked all the way clockwise. That sounds really great actually for getting super pad-like effects, um, either with short reverb decay times or long reverb decay times. You can almost get like full-on keyboard sounds uh, when the mix is cranked all the way up and there's no dry guitar signal. And with shorter decay times, I would say the keyboardish sounds are sort of like old school Mellotron almost. And when you crank the decay time up, it sounds way more like maybe a string quartet or something in a big room. Now this ensemble switch here allows you to get some radically different sounds. With it all the way to the left, it's sort of more like fundamental notes as far as the reverb goes. And as you put it into the middle and then all the way over to the right, you start getting more and more overtones blended in. And maybe all the way to the right is the most dramatic sound and the most sort of akin to what we think of as shimmer reverb, you know, with the overtones getting mixed in. If you put another pedal into this, like a fuzz and maybe a phaser or something, and you kind of some modulation going into it, the overtones get affected by that. And it'll have almost like arpeggiation type stuff going on sometimes with the overtones as they're coming in. It's kind of unpredictable and really, really cool. So I want to solo some of those parts that I did in the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. You can hear those clearly and hear some of the sounds that I was going for. And then I'm also going to play a little bit more through the pedal and turn the knobs and stuff. Okay, so let's get into it. It's the Cloudburst Ambient Reverb from my friends at Strymon. So I just cut my first part in the song in the beginning of the video. So what I'm doing here is really low decay level, low pre-delay, high mix, quite a bit of mod. And what you get is kind of a, a reverby short room with chorus. And it sounds something like this. <laughs> I 
really like that sound. I think it sounds great. At the end, I brought up the decay level and let it just ring out super long. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video on the Cloudburst Ambient Reverb. This is just a terrific sounding pedal. Really like the new housing too, and it's it's really simple and easy to understand the controls and yet so supremely powerful. Full MIDI implementation, full expression pedal capability, full stereo if you want it, and all the way from nice, cool, smaller room sounds on to crazy ambient, endless tails. You can check it out further at the website that you see there on your screen. Please click there and it'll take you to more info about the Strymon Cloudburst Ambient Reverb. Please hit subscribe. If you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out new videos. Hey, I am Pete Thorne. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Over and out.